flow. Probably should make like five videos in rapid succession like this, but oh well. This is a this is the basics on logic. I was taught this this semester and uh, I can't believe I didn't get it at first. It was a pain, you know, because it's so obvious once you know log this the logic table truth tables that's what they're known as. It's just obvious, but I don't know, it wasn't explained too well for me. But um so I hope you can see this. This is a, a truth table. See, you got P and you got Q. This is every combination of P and Q possibly being false. So you got them both being true, them both being false. First being true, second being true, and vice versa. And uh, and then over here you got P and Q, which I didn't get at first because I kept seeing them as sentences rather than just parts of sentences. Now, now if it says P and Q, what that means is um, it's only true if they're both true at the same time. So if they're both P and Q and true, then it's true. Anything else is wrong. How you false? Okay, here's another one. P or Q. That means if a single one of them is true, then it's true. Because as long as you can say or one of them is right. So, so if they're both true, then it's true. And if the first is true and the second is false, then it's P or F and one of them is true. So the only time P or Q is false is when uh, they're both false. I don't have this one in me, but there's one where there's like P arrow Q, which says that P causes Q. And the only time when the, it's false for the first thing to cause another thing is if the first thing is true and the second thing is false. So either cause is true, but it causes something that isn't true. That's the only time you get it false in this little table thing. Hope that explains it. Probably doesn't. If you don't know logic very well, this probably still confuses the crap out of you. And uh, there's a good chance that my thing may have been way over here, way over here, or, you know, not, not positioned right. Uh, you can probably find the internet just look up logic truth tables. You could do them yourself, too. You, you just write out, you could just write out large formulas. The only time, is, the only thing you gotta remember is if you have more than just two numbers like P and Q, it doubles how big these things are. So you have like P, Q, R. R instead of it being two T's would be three it'd be like um it'd be four T's, four F's. So it'd double it to eight. So there'd be eight in each of these columns here and it just takes forever. Yeah, that's that's just basic logic that you, that's good to know. There's modus pollens and modus tollens and I still don't get that. Teacher explained it, everyone Four, I got four people explaining to me modus tollens, modus ponens, and I think I'm getting it now. I think what the problem was is uh, it, this this might not mean anything to people who haven't taken logic or don't know logic very well. But uh, well, my problem with the reason why I didn't understand that logic at first and the reason why I didn't get modus tollens, modus tollens at first is because I tried to see the entire equation as one rather than realizing that it's bunch of little bits and uh, and that what modus pollen says is you take two lines of those bits and whatever the answer is after using those theorem on those two points that's what you add on to prove validity so quick way of doing that if you don't know modus tollens modus ponens it's a pain uh, you, know, you might have to look that up on the internet too I think modus pollens is um, P and Q and then P equals Q. And it's three lines. P and Q, P, Q. Then modus tollens is um, P, Q, not Q, not P. Which, I wish I could explain that to you, but all you know is if you take logic class, you'll see uh, formulas, lots of them, and you have to apply that, those two I theorems to those formulas to come up with new answers. And it's a uh, pain in the butt, I got to tell you. But I do recommend taking logic class. I wish I would have taken it in high school. It'll it help. It's, it's a headache. And I have a big logic test Monday. And I gotta study for that hardcore this weekend.
which I'm seeing a friend Sunday, and I'm probably going to go to the comic book store to play a little nerdy game called Warhammer, which I should probably do a video on Warhammer, given that I Warhammer models have gotten into two of my videos, which that reminds me, you should do you, my listeners, you shall you should go to my YouTube channel and pick out the two Warhammer um, moments in my videos. One was big orc, another was goblins. <laughs> but yeah, so in between doing that, I gotta study this weekend. That's for sure. Logic away.